What is the dumbest activity you are enjoying regardless what people think about it? Looking up everyone I know to see if they have unclaimed funds with the state controller. Everyone I actually find money for. Highest so far is $300. Lowest is $20. Is grateful but people think it's weird. It's just fun to feel like you're an investigator and solving a case. I'm pretty sure you can turn that into a profession. The other day, I sat on a rock beside a creek in a park. A small log had wedged across the stream and had trapped a big wad of leaves and other debris. I took a stick and began clearing the leaves out and watched them drift downstream. I must have done that for at least 30 minutes. Nature is amazing. This is kinda weird but sometimes when I'm bored out of my mind I like to play with water droplets on any surface. I use a toothpick or a straw or something to guide them and merge them as if they were countries or armies. If you put them through cocoa powder that stay as droplets and react the same way except they now have brown coats. Never played with water droplets before it was just an observation I made in the kitchen. I am a grown butt man with a stressful corporate job, and I like to go out on a nice mild Saturday afternoon and fly kites. Crap has never lost its ability to wow me. Man, I completely forgot kites existed. I flew only a couple kites ever in M19. I will go buy a kite and do this sometime. Seems like a nice escape for an hour or so maybe. I find flight simulators to be really soothing. I sit with checklists and feel very fulfilled after doing them. Naturally I also do cabin announcements. Out loud. Into my imaginary mic. I'm 30. Cooking. Apparently. I live with 4 younger guys and they don't believe in wasting time with extensive food prep or cleaning the house. To be fair to them. All of them are far more successful than me, have better future prospects, and are more shredded. So maybe they have a point, clearly they are using their time well. But, well, I still enjoy cooking, not gonna stop. Used to make fun of my sister for watching only the cooking channel. Here I am 10 years later doing the same thing. I fell asleep pretending I am a celebrity and being interviewed. I play out full on conversations with my talk show host. Imaginary me is very lovable and well spoken in public. Real me would just gulp out strange laughs and sweat while talking about my favorite kinds of peanut butter. I typically end up lecturing on something I did that day. This is how I did it. These are things to watch for. I'll also get very distracted and move from one lecture to another. Being alone. At home. Sometimes. My friends won't see me for a week or so and when they do. They always ask. What the frick are you doing in your house? But, I don't know. I like it that way. I love puttering around my house. I live alone and my house is my sanctuary. A little cleaning here. A little bit of crafting there. Some TV watching. A nap. I lump it all into just hanging out when someone asks. But it's my me time. I love swings. Always have, always will. My favorite thing to do while swinging is to have my music on and sing as loud as I can and not care at all about how I sound. When I was in my early 20s and started drinking in public I'd end most nights in a playground on a swing. Minus the singing super loud because of the probability I'd get harassed by cops. There's just something so soothing and simple about it. My favorite thing while swinging as a kid was closing my eyes for a while. When I'd open them again the world would have a blue hue to it. Talking to my dogs and responding for them in the voices and attitudes I think they'd have if they could speak English. I did that with my bunny. She was Austrian so her English was broken. I have an app for coloring. Like a coloring book. It has pictures of animals, flowers, mandalas, and quotes. I like to color while my son naps and in the evening. It's creative and helps me relax. It's silly but fun. Doing my makeup. I will do fancy eyeshadow even if it's just to run to the store to buy milk or something. Sometimes it's hard to see what I put on my eyes because I wear glasses. But I have a dandy time in my bathroom blending glitter lol. I change the word girl to squirrel when singing along to the radio. It's wonderful. Fat bottomed squirrels is my favorite. I like that one. I can off the top of my head think also of who runs the world. Squirrels. I watch Bob Ross videos to help me go to sleep. I love Bob Ross videos when I'm stressing or depressed. They would probably help me go to sleep, too. Very soothing. 
I've only just discovered Bob Ross thanks to Reddit. I can't believe I've been missing out my whole life. Butterfly knife flipping. Completely stupid and completely useless. I never have any extra money because it instantly goes into $200 to $350 knives. I constantly have small, deep cuts on my hand. Can't get enough of it. I think the bloodless powers this thinking. Let me catch this aerial with my forearm. Surely nothing can go wrong. Adding anal to the camper van names. Great for road trips and to pass the time on dull drives. Sometimes it's gold sometimes not so much. Anal Viking is my favorite camper. And Ford models. Spending my day off doing nothing. When my girlfriend asks me what I did today and I tell her I haven't left the house or even done anything noteworthy in my house she thinks it's weird that I would waste my days off. I think it's weird that people are busy all day on their days off. I go dog in a very specific voice when I see a dog. I can't explain the voice but my entire family is in on it now. The thing is, I'm autistic and dogs are one of my favorite things in the entire world so dog spitting is a thing that I love. My co-worker goes into customer service voice whenever she talks to a customer and it would always make us laugh. Her voice goes two octaves higher. It was great. Also, dogs are great. Video games. My wife thinks I'm a big baby because I love to play video games when I can. And if you let your kids play the games I play then you're a bad parent. Say you play 10 hours of video games a week people flip, but the same people have no problem watching an entire season of Grey's Anatomy in one sitting. Sometimes I dress up, cook a lot of food, clean the house, then host social events with nobody. It's so much better than with actual people, because these fake people have interesting conversations, are actively against global warming, and we just have a great time. I'm actually planning another next Friday. It will be a charity event to save rainforests from illegal loggers. I am planning on making a spaghetti napolitana and will be wearing my nice green dress. And will be having a speech about the importance of not littering. And picking up litter that you see on the ground. Also, my parents and sister won't be home so that's important. I know, it's weird. And literally nobody from my life can find out. But it's just so fun. You already know I was planning on wearing my green dress. How dare you. Working overnights and napping the other 2 stroke 3 RDS of the day. I'm an adult with bills and a girlfriend. But napping from 9am to like 8pm some days is the best. There's something about working overnights that makes you feel like a little kid. My dream at 7 years old was to stay up late and sleep late every day. Well, I'm an RN on a night shift. So goal achieved. Something dumb I enjoy is to sing songs horribly off tempo and using the wrong words when I can. People usually don't know what to make of it. Even better if you add something like that's how it goes. Right after. I like stressing the wrong part of a word just to mix things up. I've never been very into video computer games, but there was one I really liked as a kid. Torrent's Passage. Never met another person who has even heard of it let alone also like likes it. But I found it online, and have been playing it the last few days. It's still fun and so nostalgic. Torin's Passage was the crap. I grew up playing those Sierra games. When I'm alone I have conversations with myself out loud no matter what I am doing. It helps me understand what I'm doing and why I do it but it usually devolves into nonsense. Here's an example literally right now. Why am I even typing this? I wonder if anyone even reads the crap I type on this site. It's not like I even check whether people like it or not and I can't open my inbox so I don't get anything out of it. Maybe it's just a way to vent for me. Maybe I see people here as like part time friends or something. That sounds so bad. If you told me I was just a part time friend I'd feel terrible. I wonder what I've said that makes people feel terrible. I did call my friend an old hag once as a joke and she took it hard even though she was only one year older than me and I obviously meant it as a joke. Come to think of it she was pretty bad socially so maybe she couldn't see that. It would make sense since I had to initiate everything we did. I freaking hated her as much as I loved her. I hope she's okay. I hope she sees the truth. We fell out over disagreements on how the world worked you see and though I was verifiable in my thoughts she refused to let me prove her wrong. No wonder we never really got close. 
I just wanted her to be smarter about the world but if she wants to stay in the dark that's okay I guess. The funny thing about the dark is that it feels physical to me too. So coming into a dark room feels like I have to push the darkness out of my way and then it shuts behind me like a curtain. I wonder why that is. I'm not afraid but maybe it's being unsure. I can't think of a worse feeling than being unsure yet we are faced with it so often. My knee hurts pretty bad from carrying that trash can at work. I wish we had more cards for the heavy stuff lying around but they'd just get stolen like everything else. My mouth and hands hurt and it's 4am so I'll stop now. Should get some sleep since I have to be up in a few hours. I've always done this my whole life. It used to bug my dad because he would think I had a friend over but it was just me doing whatever having a conversation about some future thing that hasn't happened yet. Or just talking my way through whatever task I am doing. Renovating my house. It's a complete gut job. I've done it all myself. I work full time as a registered nurse and when I'm not at the hospital I'm working on my house. It's almost done and taken about a year and a half. It's as if I have a second full time job. Sometimes people make comments about the amount of time it's taken or how particular I am about things. But it's as if it's some sort of therapy. Why it's dumb? Because buying things like a simple box of nails, paint, cork, etc etc just does it for me. I literally can't think of anything else I'd rather spend money on. TLDR. Renovating my house. Buying supplies. I dream of becoming a carrot. When I'm home alone I dig holes in the backyard and stand in them. Put lettuce on top of my head from sun up to sun down. I would steal suntan spray from stores and use it until I turned a bright orange. People tell me it's impossible for me to be a carrot but I know I can be anything I want to be. Found Rob Schneider. Wrapping entire epic rap battles of history wraps off the top of my head whenever I'm bored. It's so sad, but so satisfying when you nail it. Dancing in public with headphones on. Sometimes people laugh at me, sometimes they smile and watch. I just do it for myself, it feels wonderfully liberating. Was bored during a mandatory CPR course, and had to wait an hour as the others went to do their assessment. Splice together the CPR training video so the trainer basically just goes spastic. Like during counting they would be like and a 3, a 1, a 3, 2 a 2 1 2 1. And reverse them helping a conscious victim up to look like he was knocking them out. Too bad it was on a loaned laptop so I had to delete it. Shoulder put it on YouTube as a YTP. I will me out a songs instead of singing to them. I only tend to do this while in the presence of cats. Though, I also alter lyrics to be about animals and or food. I wanna be, where cheeseburgers are. I wanna stuff, and shove them in my fasahu roll. With a thick slab of beef, and loads of cheese. I want this sucker dripping with grease. That sort of thing. Also, I can play in piles of rocks for days. Watching Bob's Burgers every day, in a loop. Already know the lines of almost every episode. And even though people love Tina. Louise is my spirit animal. She is a crazy sociopath but I love her. I'm a high school teacher. One kid in class is the really opinionated guy and gets weird looks and says really weird stuff sometimes. Anyway, we were talking about video games one day and the other kids were talking about Borderlands, COD, Witcher, etc. The goofy kid says something about Minecraft and everyone instantly started making fun of him. Saying stuff like Minecraft sucks and no one plays it anymore. This kid never stands up for himself so I was getting ready to intervene and he just quietly looks at the one ringleader and goes frick you. I still like it. Best teacher moment of the day that day. Was so hilarious. He then proceeded to show everyone his Minecraft world on his laptop. And the other kids actually were jealous of his creation. Victory for the geeks. Every time I see a pineapple. Real or fake, in real life or on TV, I always say found it out loud. Years of watching psych haven't worn off yet. I like to go to real estate websites and look for homes that are in the million dollar range. There is no way I'll ever afford a house like that nor do I really want a 5000 plus square foot home. Too big for my taste. I like to look at the decor. I have found people with a lot of money have some pretty gaudy taste. Probably painting my nails and dancing. 
As a male, it's completely unacceptable for me to do either, apparently. I didn't know that my penis got in the way of my nails when painting them. The visualization. I make stickers and posters of random weird stuff. I put them up in public places and mail them all over the planet to other odd artists. I am addicted to the idea of the connecting with strangers through unsolicited public art. This is my favorite thread the date on reddit. I've been a lurker for over a year. Barely ever comment, like, this is the second time. My dumb activities include organizing junk drawers or sweeping, meditative for me, doing voiceovers for my dogs, time traveling and daydreams, etc. But the one I get judged for the most is I love taking public transit. Everything about it. Trip planning. Walking to the metro stop. Sitting by strangers. The funk. Weirdos. All of it. I smile like an idiot every step of the way. No. I'm not a creeper and as a female there are times I have to ward off creepers. But I even enjoy that. Miniature painting. I bought a board game. Descent. Journeys into the dark. And it came with lots of grey boring miniature monsters and heroes so I bought some paints and went to town. They all look like crap but better than grey plastic. When I'm on a plane. I usually get Wi-Fi and run a flight tracker on my computer. Other people are watching movies or sleeping but I can spend a 4 hour flight just looking at my flight tracker and seeing other planes passing us by on the tracker that you can't see in the air. I click on planes for hours to see what kind they are, where they're going, where they've been. I also look at what little cities we're flying over. If it's night and I look down and see a little patch of light on the ground outside the window, I immediately look at my flight tracker to see if I can figure out what little town it is, and then I'll wikipedia the town to learn more about it. The tinier and more isolated the town, the more fun it is. Learned a lot about the old west this way. My husband thinks it's super dorky but I love it. I tend to spend hours doing stupid stuff online too. I passed a good 1.5 hours recently just browsing the Saks 5th Ave website and organizing every category from highest price to lowest to find the most expensive items. The most expensive item was a gold bracelet for $64,000. I don't know why I do that but it's so entertaining for me. Just looking up dumb things. I also love trying to memorize things like dog breeds and capitals. I'm just curious as frick and like knowing things and trying to understand things. Always been that way. Yeah you'll ever just watch a river flow. The way it glides around each rock. Carves its way down the riverbed. Allowing anything light enough to hit a ride. Crap's almost better than weed. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.